This video is the second video of drawing energy cycle. It makes use of an actual example. We are going to construct an energy cycle using these three equations. The enthalpy change reaction of equation 1 is an unknown and we are going to calculate it. The other two equations enthalpy change of reactions are known. First, write the equation whose enthalpy change of reaction is an unknown. Use, using this equation, remove species that is common in 2 and 3. Only HCl and sodium chloride are not common in these three equations. As HCl cannot be formed by sodium hydrogen carbonate, and sodium carbonate, this cannot be the cycle of the energy cycle. Hence, sodium chloride is placed in the cycle. You are able to link sodium hydrogen carbonate to sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is formed from sodium hydrogen carbonate because HCl was added. Sodium chloride is also formed from sodium carbonate when HCl is added. In addition, carbon dioxide and water are also formed. We will multiply the products by 2 to balance the reagents in black. We multiply 2 to balance the HCl that is used in this cycle. We will now include the enthalpy change reactions of the respective equations. From equation 2, the enthalpy change reaction of 2 is for just one mole of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Since 2 moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate is used, we will multiply the enthalpy change reaction by 2. Check that all the elements are balanced. Check that all enthalpy change reactions are also balanced. Hence, the energy cycle is obtained. Hence, Hess law is used in the calculation as you can see in the above equation. Do note that we add the enthalpy changes that are in the same direction. Hence, when we rearrange, we can solve for the unknown enthalpy change of reaction.